Thank you for watching Ravens Roundup, but we're 100% real, no matter if it's the popular opinion or not. I hope you enjoyed this segment. Click the like button and share it on your socials. Thank you and enjoy. Which, <laughs> the, number four, man, which, and I, and, I, and I got a guy that works with us that actually still coaches at the school, and he, and he a Ravens fan. He has, why we ain't run the ball? I'm like, Malcolm, man, I'm, I'm tired to talk about this. I see him coming. I go in my room, and lock the door. I don't, I don't want to talk about this. Come on, <laughs> what, what was they doing, coach? Bro, I don't, I don't, you can't I, even I, explain it, right? Yes, it's, it's stupid, just stupid. But it says, uh, which players from this list should restructure their contracts and why? And let me throw the list up there for everybody to see. Um, I had a list here. Uh, where's my list? Mm, there it is. Which one of the players from this list should restructure their contracts and why? Can y'all see it up there? Yes. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right. Have it. Well, I, I think LeVar should hold out for more money. Let's start there. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing about Ronnie Stanley and Marlon Humphrey. It's funny that they're paired next to each other, right? Ronnie Stanley. Everybody says Ronnie Stanley should restructure. Let, let's say they go to Ronnie and say, hey, we need you to restructure. We got to create some cap room. And he says, no. What are you going to do? Nothing. Nothing. Now, if Marlon Humphrey, they go to Marlon Humphrey and say, hey, we need you to restructure. And he says, no. What are they going to do? Nothing. I think I think they will do something. I think they because cut Marlon. I think they cut him. <laughs> because they've been trying to replace Marlon for the last two years. I, I think cornerback, as much as we're talking about what they need to do on offense, I think cornerback is what they're eyeing this offseason. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I think they're going to go O-line in the first and corner in the second. I wouldn't be surprised if they go corner in free agency or if they trade for one. They've been trying yeah. to do that uh last couple of years. I, th I think uh, as far as the restructures part of it, I think Marlon, Ronnie, and Bowser should restructure. And maybe Marcus. But if Marcus, Marcus said no, I wouldn't be mad at it. Uh, but yeah, definitely, I, definitely I, Ronnie, Marlowe, and Bowser. And maybe even, him, maybe even cut Bowser. Yeah. Um, was, yeah was, exactly. Yes, uh, players can refuse restructures. Yeah, Bowser, it, it's no restructure. It's, you know, get in the unemployment line. It's relocation. This is last year. <laughs> Pretty much. It, it's no restructure for him. Um, For me, it's Lamar. Um, Because with these guys, I don't want to kick the can down the road with any of these guys. Mm -hmm. I don't want to. I don't want to kick the, the can down the road with Ronnie. I don't want to kick the can down the road with Marlon. Um, I, I think that might be a possible out with, with Williams and Andrews because those guys, are they got some years into their contract. But yeah. um, I think, no, nah, I'm no no cap guru or nothing like that. I barely manage my own damn money. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I think, I think Mar um, not Marlon, I think Lamar is like the, the easiest one as far as like, yeah, you add some years to his contract or whatever void years, whatever the hell they do. But I, I think um, if I remember correctly, the uh, Brian McFarlane guy, he said that a lot of quarterbacks after that first year, they, they end up restructuring their deals, too, to kind of open up some space where, where they get more money um, up front. OK, um, so uh, I think that's probably the, the safest option, because I don't want to be tied to Ronnie and Marlowe for longer than, than they need you to have be. to. Right. That's 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 a good. That's a good if line. I'm Lamar, I'm not restructuring unless I get some guarantees that that money's going towards the offense. <laughs> you're not taking you 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 not we're not redoing this just so you can not invest some uh, in me again. <laughs> you take my money and go get a, a safety, <laughs> right? <laughs> you take my money and go get uh who's that? At least I did the other day the, the safety from the Commanders, Cameron Curl. Mm. <laughs> you take Lamar's hey, money. You come in the facility like. Patrick, what, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you was for sure going to Seattle. <laughs> no, I, you know, I wouldn't be mad at that, but it is what it is. But yeah, yeah and, uh, I favorite. agree. I agree with Chris, though. I, I I think Chris put that perfectly. Um, even if it does push, you know, kick the can down the road a little bit, you know, Lamar is probably. It is not even probably. He is the guy on this list who we want to see get another contract and, and be here even longer than 
um, his current one. So they could probably restructure. And then when it's time in another two years to to get back at the table, you can you can get a contract where or structure a contract to the point where whatever you kick down the down the down the street is is out of the picture now and you got your guy still. So um yeah, I, I agree. I agree with Chris on that. Ty is go Ty has ghosted us like a like a prom date, so he gotta go. <laughs> All right, let me get this off and get, get ready for our next one. Give me a minute while I transition. Got, got a few things going on over here with this extra screen. I want to make sure. I also want to say, man, Marcus Williams, I think he's going to have a, he gonna have a, a great year coming up here. He, I like how he battled through his injury this year and, and played at a pretty high level considering he only had one arm. I think next year it's going to be huge for him. Yeah, hopefully he's not deformed next year. We're playing through that damn injury. <laughs> yeah. He definitely did that with and I, I really feel like, you know, with him doing that, he showed a lot of toughness. Yes. Showed uh, some toughness that I